life is miraculous and incredible. A dazzling display of Creator's intricate design and workmanship. Human life, on the other hand, is incomparably valuable, significant, and sacred. Hi, my name is Laika and today I'd like to talk about the sacredness of human life. People are accustomed to avoiding the sometimes inconvenient fact that human life begins at conception. Have you ever heard the phrase, ipalaglag nyo na yan habang dugo pa lang? Conception and fertilization are all synonymous for what occurs on the first day. This is when a man's sperm fertilizes woman's egg. From that, a new, genetically unique, single-celled entity known technically as zygote, or in other words, life is created, and a miracle occurs. God, the author of life, knew you and created you. As seen in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, God says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. In God's foreknowledge, we each, like Jeremiah, have an identity and purpose in Creator's mind. As a result, it is clear that God oversees our entire prenatal and postnatal lives, which continue to exist even after death. So, I'd like to address specifically that we do not have the right to steal God's plan for ourselves and others. Now, if I were to ask you today, do you believe and treat human life as sacred? Aside from the violence of killings, kidnappings, hostage taking, and torture that has become the commonplace in the lives of so many Filipinos, we are also witnessing firsthand the global attacks of human life. Individually, there is abortion, suicide, euthanasia, and other vices that we are all currently experiencing. And only those who are losing or do not love or appreciate God lose awareness and knowledge of the sacredness of human life. Instead of resolving the crisis such as anger, vengeance, hatred, envy, and personal gain, it is sad to think that they have chosen to end people's lives or their lives. Hate multiples hate. Violence multiples violence. And toughness multiples toughness in a descending spiral of destruction that only love can end this. Love and life are inseparable. To love one another entails fostering and respecting the quality of human life. In the Sermon on the Mount, the Lord recalls the commandment, You shall not kill. This means that the foundation of this commandment is respect and reverence for human life. It safeguards God's precious gift which is life and promotes practical care and respect for the life and dignity of all people. However, as it stated earlier, we are sometimes unaware that we are slowly killing ourselves by engaging in our vices. People nowadays try their hardest not to eat in order to lose a lot of weight, not to sleep due to reading what pads, watching Netflix, drinking alcohol, and smoking, and as a result, abusing themselves. In Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19, God implores His people to choose life, not death. Blessing and not curses from the alternatives He is set before them. He is trying to infer us to work together to avoid war. We must defend the right of life by devising increasingly effective means of preventing and resolving conflicts peacefully because we believe that each individual is valuable, that people are more important than any other things or conflicts. To specify why this human life is sacred, according to Catechism for Filipino Catholics 2258, 
Human life is sacred because from its beginning, it involves the creative action of God and it remains forever in a special relationship with the Creator who is its soul and God alone is the Lord of life from its beginning until its end. No one can under any circumstance claim for himself the right directly to destroy an innocent human being. Human life is sacred because it is made in the image of God. Human life is sacred because it is elevated above the rest of creation. Human life is sacred because God takes a special care to craft each one. Human life is sacred because it is eternal. Human life is sacred because Christ was willing to pay an inexpressible cost to redeem it. Human life is sacred because all of heaven celebrates when a sinner repents. Human life is sacred because it is made for God's glory. Human life is sacred because God loves it beyond measure. So when does life become valuable, sacred, and precious? Majority is asking this. Anyone can guess and tell, but only the creator of life can assign true value to it. And he has given it tremendous value, incomprehensible value. So today, we pause to reflect on our lives. We are outstanding by life. And even more so, we are awestruck by the one who created us. Therefore, regardless of who we are, what we are, or what races we belong to, we are all formed by Him. And as a result, we should love and respect others because life is sacred and all lives matter.